Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and this video I'm going to go over the network manager in Pernet, which is extremely useful and very good to get familiar with using, because it exposes a lot of useful both callbacks and also functionality for yourself. So I'm just going to enter a script here, and I'm already in a network behavior, which makes it very easy to access the network manager. So I'm just going to write network manager, and then let's start with some of the very useful functionality. So something that's very good to know about the network manager is it's built off of something called modules, which you can see we have the try get module, and we also have a... Uh, get module directly. However, we actually expose these modules in easier ways for you to get. So as long as you're doing it on on spawn or later, you know, once the network has started, you can access these modules very easily. And some of these modules, and Pernet has a lot of modules, but just five of these modules that are the most useful ones that you'll likely be interacting with on the network is something like the players manager, which is where, whoops, the players module, sorry, which is where you interact with essentially players on the network. So you can check, for example, whether a player is currently connected and feeding the player ID. You can see the list of all players that are in the game. You can see there's also the callbacks here, but we'll get to those in a bit because I would actually argue you shouldn't necessarily subscribe to them here. But this is where you also have access to them directly in the module. And also get something like the local player ID and you can essentially see what's available to you in here, like creating a bot, kicking a player from the connection, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of functionality in these modules and I would argue you should familiarize yourself a little bit with these modules. They're very useful and hopefully the method should be rather self-explanatory. Now, the next one that we have is the broadcast module. This is essentially what you use for broadcasting where you subscribe and unsubscribe from broadcasting, you manage to send data and so on like you would broadcast in other systems. Now, there's gonna be a separate video on working with broadcasting. So this one is not as relevant, but I just wanted to, you to know that you can also access broadcasting from here. Now, we also have the tick manager, which, or tick module, once again, sorry, um, which is where essentially, you know, similar to your time manager and fishnet, and I imagine per Mirror obviously have a similar thing. Um, you can see you can get your tick delta, your tick, precise tick. You can also get the event for the on tick, which again, I'll talk about events in a little bit. You can see your tick rate and so on and, and so forth. There's a lot of functionality in here as well, uh, where you can also convert ticks to time and time to tick and so on and so forth. So again, this is where you'd really, if you want to uh, work with time over the network, this is where you do that. And then we have the scenes module which essentially is what allows you to load scenes and unload scenes. This is the one responsible for loading and unloading scenes, not responsible as much for the players that are in these scenes. That's the next module. And again, scene management will be a video of its own as well. But I just wanted to let you know that this is exposed here as well. And the last one is the scene players module. Now the scene players module is the one that handles what players are in what scene and adding them and removing them. Again, the scene management video is gonna go on this a little bit more in depth. But as you can see, once again, there's a bunch of methods exposed to you in here. And I would argue that you should really just Try, try it out, give them a look and yeah. So these modules, the players module, the broadcasting module, the tech manager, the scene module and the scene players module. These are really sort of the five modules that I think you would interact with the most throughout working with Pernet. Obviously again, interacting with these modules can be a little bit more advanced. So if you're new to Pernet, you really don't need to think too much about this yet, but it'll probably get to a case where you need to know, for example, who are all the players that are in here. But luckily again, a lot of the values or parameters within these modules we're exposing directly in the network manager as you're seeing right here for example the players list you can just do network manager.players and boom now you have a list of all the players so if i want to see what player was on zero you can do this you can get the id i can do whatever i want and it's that easy and this brings me on to the next thing which is the events the events are extremely useful and luckily for you we're exposing all the events in the network manager so if i just do network manager.on you're actually able to very easily see all the, all the events here that you can subscribe to. And I'll go through them just very quickly, one by one, to not draw this video out too long, because I think most of the names are pretty self-explanatory. But let's just go through them one by one. So on player joint scene, this is the one that happens whenever a player has, well, connected to a given scene. On tick is called, yeah, well, you guessed it, whenever the server ticks. So if, for example, if you have 20 ticks a second, the on tick will run 20 times every second. The on player joint and on player left are the connection parts of it. So it's essentially when a player has connected to the network or when a player has disconnected from the network. There's on post tick, which is obviously just called after the tick. And we also have on pre tick right down here, which is obviously called after the tick or before the tick, excuse me. And then we have on player left scene, which similar to on player joint scene is called only relevant to the scene. And on player left scene is obviously when the player has left a given scene. 
Now, just to show you subscribing to these, it's very easy. I just do on tick and then I can do plus equals to and then on. I can make a method that I call on tick and I can actually have Ryder create the method for me. But essentially you can see it looks like this. If you're wondering what I just did there, most IDEs have the possibility, typically it'll be alt enter, but there might also be a little symbol out here that can help you make it. And you can see that's the create method here. I essentially just pressed alt enter and then you can see the menu popped up and then I pressed enter again and it created the method for me. Uh, and essentially you can see they have different handshakes. So this one has just whether you're ticking as the server or not. But for example, if we do, let's say for example, the on player join scene, you can see we do equals to on player join scene. And then I can create a new method with this and you can see exactly what data we get here. We get what player is it, what scene is it, and are we running this method right now as the server or as a client? Now let's continue down the list a little bit. I just want to show you that it is easy subscribing to these events. So if we write on again, we have the on client connection state. This is essentially what happens when the connection state of the client changes. It could be that they disconnected, they connected, they reconnected. Uh, and yeah, essentially you'll get a connection state event for this. There's also an on player loaded scene, on player unloaded scene. Once again, I think they're rather self-explanatory. There's also on server connection state, which contrary to the on client connection state is, you know, when the server uh, changes its connection state. This is obviously only ran on the server. And then there's on local player received ID, which is obviously when you've been given your player ID in case you want to do something like store it or act with it. This is where you'd likely do that. And that's essentially it. This is all the events in the network manager. Hopefully these were straightforward. I think name wise, they should be pretty self-explanatory. And if you have any issues, of course, you can always join the Pernet Discord. I hope this was helpful to you. Please do leave a like, a comment and subscribe. It really does help the channel a lot. And other than that, I just hope that you have a wonderful day.